Every year, just 20 Formula One cars are built for the world's fastest racing teams, making them some of the rarest, most advanced machines on the planet. Designed for speed, precision, and performance, these cars can hit over 350 kilometers per hour, corner with the force of a fighter jet, and stop faster than the blink of an eye. You've probably seen them on TV, in racing games, or roaring through cities like Monaco and Monza. But have you ever wondered, how are these machines actually built? What makes a Formula One car so powerful, so light, and so insanely precise? Today, we're heading inside one of the most high-tech factories in motorsports, where engineers, mechanics, and computers work together to create a car that's part rocket, part race car, and all performance. From carbon fiber sheets to million dollar engines, watch how every piece comes together to build one of the most extreme vehicles in the world, piece by piece. Body. Back in the 1950s, a new kind of racing was born, Formula One. These weren't just fast cars, they were extreme machines built to push the limits of engineering, physics, and speed. Today, Formula One cars are built by elite teams in high-tech factories, with every part carefully designed to win races by just fractions of a second. Each car costs millions of dollars and takes thousands of hours to build, test, and perfect. Materials The incredible performance of a Formula One car starts with its raw materials. The chassis and body panels are made from carbon fiber, a material that is five times stronger than steel, but much lighter. This carbon fiber is usually sourced from specialized manufacturers in Europe or Japan. Other parts, like the suspension and gearbox, use titanium and aluminum alloys for strength and weight savings. The engine parts must handle extreme temperatures and speeds, so they are made from heat-resistant metals, like Inconel, and other nickel-based alloys. Every material is tested for strength, flexibility, and heat resistance before being used, ensuring the car can handle the brutal conditions of a race weekend. Molding and forming. Carbon fiber comes in thin sheets, which are layered by hand into molds for different parts of the car, like the monocoque, cockpit, wings, and floor. These layers are then baked in large ovens called autoclaves at high pressure and temperature. This process makes the parts extremely strong and rigid. Metal components like the suspension arms or engine block are forged or cast into rough shapes, then refined through machining. This shaping stage ensures every part is built for maximum strength and minimum weight. For example, the front suspension must be light but strong enough to survive curbs and bumps at 300 kilometers per hour. Precision machining. Once molded or forged, the parts move to the machining phase. Using CNC, computer numerical control, machines, technicians cut, drill, and shape each component to exact specifications, often down to a thousandth of a millimeter. The engine, for example, must be perfectly balanced to run at over 15,000 revolutions per minute. The gearbox, which shifts gears in just milliseconds, is also machined with extreme precision. Teams use 3D scans and digital models to check each part against design files. If even one bolt is off, the car could fail during a race. Heat treatment and finishing. To withstand high-speed stress, some parts go through heat treatment. This process hardens the surface while keeping the core strong and flexible. Components like the drive shaft and gearbox internals are treated this way to prevent cracks or wear under pressure. Other parts, especially those exposed to heat, like exhaust pipes, receive ceramic or thermal coatings to manage temperatures. Some metal parts are anodized or coated to protect against corrosion and reduce friction. Assembly line. With all parts ready, the car is assembled in clean, high-tech workshops. The monocoque is the first part to be built. This is the central shell that holds the driver and connects every other part of the car. 
The engine, gearbox, and suspension are carefully mounted onto the monocoque. Engineers and mechanics follow detailed plans, using torque wrenches and digital sensors to make sure every nut and bolt is tightened to exact settings. Wiring, electronics, and cooling systems are installed next, including more than 100 sensors that monitor the car during races. Wings and aerodynamic parts are attached last. These are designed in wind tunnels to manage airflow and keep the car glued to the track. Even small changes to these parts can make a big difference in lap time. Quality control. Before hitting the track, the car goes through intense testing. Engineers check every system, brakes, electronics, fuel, hydraulics, and more. The car is then tested on a rolling road or in a simulator to make sure everything works under race conditions. Once it passes all checks, the car is taken to a real track for testing. Drivers work with engineers to fine tune the setup. Any issue is logged, fixed, and tested again. Teams often build spare parts for every major component in case of damage during a race weekend. Finishing and coating. Once assembly is complete, the car gets its final cosmetic and protective touches. The carbon fiber surfaces, though functional, need paint and coatings to protect from UV damage and add aerodynamic enhancements. Teams often use ultra-lightweight paints, sometimes weighing just a few grams, applied in thin layers to avoid adding unnecessary weight. Beyond basic color schemes and sponsor branding, finishes also include technical applications. Anti-reflective matte finishes are used on some surfaces to reduce glare for the driver and engineers. Specialized surface treatments, like clear coats with embedded nanoparticles, improve airflow and resist abrasion from high-speed debris. Underneath the paint, advanced heat-resistant coatings help manage thermal loads. For example, exhaust pipes and areas near the engine bay receive ceramic coatings that reflect heat away from sensitive components. In high-stress zones, thermal barrier coatings are layered onto metal parts to preserve their mechanical properties during long races. The finishing stage also includes final branding with precisely placed sponsor logos and team colors that must meet strict FIA guidelines. These visual elements must be durable enough to withstand extreme weather high-speed airflow, and constant maintenance during race weekends. Formula One teams travel globally, often racing on five continents across the season. Efficient packaging and transportation are crucial. Once race prepped, the car is carefully disassembled into major sections, the chassis, power unit, gearbox, suspension, wings, and floor. Each component is packed in foam-lined, climate-controlled containers that prevent damage during transit. For flyaway races, equipment is flown using cargo planes, with teams organizing logistics months in advance. Sea freight is used for less urgent items, such as garage setups or catering equipment. Each team also ships hundreds of spare parts, brake discs, wing elements, control arms and more, along with diagnostic tools, laptops, and tire warming stations. Some teams even bring portable machine shops to make last-minute repairs or adjustments on-site. Everything must clear customs under strict international regulations and arrive on time for setup days. Formula One cars represent the absolute peak of automotive engineering, but their influence extends far beyond the racetrack. Innovations developed for F1, from carbon fiber crash cells to hybrid power units, have transformed everyday road cars. Technologies like energy recovery systems, ERS, advanced braking systems, and tire compounds were all refined in racing before hitting the market. The sport has also driven sustainability innovation, with new regulations pushing for carbon neutral racing and more efficient hybrid engines, F1 teams have become laboratories for clean mobility. By 2030, the sport aims to become fully carbon neutral with synthetic fuels already in development. F1's global visibility has made it a cultural icon as well. Teams like Ferrari, Mercedes, and Red Bull have fan bases across continents. Races are broadcast in over 180 countries, 
and millions of fans follow drivers and teams throughout the year. Major cities even modify their infrastructure to host Grand Prix events, boosting tourism and local economies. For the engineers and designers behind the scenes, building a Formula One car is not just a job, it's a mission to chase perfection. Each car embodies the latest in aerodynamics, materials science, and electronics, tested at the limits of performance. These machines are the result of decades of research, billions of dollars in investment, and an unrelenting passion for speed. Whether it's thrilling fans at Monza, pushing boundaries in Abu Dhabi, or inspiring the next generation of engineers, Formula One continues to shape the future of mobility, one precision-made car at a time. From sheets of carbon fiber to roaring engines on the grid, building a Formula One car is anything but ordinary. It's a blend of art, science, and serious teamwork. So the next time you watch a Grand Prix and see a car glide through corners at 300 kilometers per hour, remember what went into that moment. It's not just speed, it is all about years of innovation and engineering, all packed into one powerful machine. So, if you enjoyed this deep dive, give us a like, hit subscribe for more behind-the-scenes tech stories, and let us know in the comments, which F1 team do you root for? See you in the next video.